her last game for FC Kansas City, number six, midfielder Jen Buskowski. Jen has been a fixture in the middle of FC Kansas City's lineup since the team and league began play in 2013. She's also the only player in the history of the National Women's Soccer League to start every regular season game. She's been a leader in the locker room and on the field and an integral piece to the team's back-to-back -back NWSL championships. Most of all, though, we are happy to call Buzz our dear friend. We all wish her well on her new career path. Presenting Buzz with flowers this evening is FC Kansas City head coach Vladko Andonovsky. <laughs> FC Kansas City fans, let's hear it one last time for Jen Buskowski. Thanks for having me, Brad. We welcome our fans in Chicago who are watching this as well as our home fans here in Kansas City. FC Kansas City will be in the alternate home jerseys, the pink tops, white shorts, and white socks moving from our right to our left and the Chicago Red Stars in the blue and white tops, the blue shorts and the blue socks moving from our left to our right. Sarah Johnson will take it, left footed in swinger, in front, didn't send away. Right, minute 10. And we'll take another look at the corner here. Tiffany, what do you see? It's a good corner played in. It's hard to tell what happened there. It looks like it hit off of DaCosta, but I couldn't tell. Chicago Red Stars on the move again. Her trademark is hardcore play. This will be sent inside the 18, and there's press. Who's on it, and she'll send it across the front, and no trouble for Barnhart. But Jen Buzkowski, hard-nosed player, not afraid to get a foul at the right time, jam the wheels a little bit. Silva is waiting just outside the 18. Arlette charges through two defenders, sends it across the front, hit it high and over the top. Oh, and a nice save by Nair. But what? Press will obviously be part of the Olympic mix this summer down in Brazil. Oh! And a major collision at midfield. And Shea Groom is down. Yeah, it looks like she didn't even, she had no idea she was even there. Probably got the, the wind knocked out of her a little bit there. Now but. here's Alex Arlette, again making her first start for FC Kansas City. Mandy Laddish dancing through one defender, then two, charging headstrong toward goal. And this will be Francis Silva on the near side. Sends it across, high arcing, Arlette, and that bounces off a defender, and Chicago has a player down inside the 18. Ooh, yeah, right just the a, Yeah, she didn't see the header coming. Still trying to find it, and Chicago early on, and there's a half chance by press, but well done by Yale to come in and shut it down. So Chicago has had the chances here early in the second half. And this will be a corner for Chicago. And this will be Caliprico. We think with the right footed in swinger. Sends it in front, right to the center. Nicole Barnhart is there, dangerous it falls. And FC Kansas City did well to get it away, but that was a dangerous attempt for Chicago. They were right. Here's Chicago press charging in against Sauerbrunn, tipped away by Barnhart, still dangerously rolling in front. Press does so well to get 1v1, and she always gets a shot on target. Yale, Ava Bush. Now Casey Short on the near side, and she'll send it far post. Header up in the air. Yale is there, and shot for Chicago. Possible, and it's taken and blazed over the top, and a nice job by Huerta, making her fifth start, the 23-year-old striker for Chicago, but taking uh, chances here in the second half. Yeah, she, uh, she does, who's this, Huerta? She That's does Huerta. well to get, get the ball in the box, but. Uh. Desiree Scott, right there to cut it out for FC Kansas City, still fighting for it. 
for Desiree Scott. And this is what you're talking about. One leg, two legs, three <laughs> legs, four. There's five. Unbelievable. Now Arlette on that left flank. She's had several good runs in the first half. Now picking it up here in the second half. And now this could be on for the Blues. Shea Groom lining up a shot right foot. And just over the crossbar. I'd be really disappointed with this. This is, a, this is a great opportunity. Best opportunity so far she's had this game. But, you know. Just trying bit. to find one way to break through. Jen Buzkowski was there with a the touch. And now a chance to find Francis Silva. Fired and it hits the woodwork. Oh, Francis Silva was right there. Build up. Just Perfect ball. We actually worked on that in training. And unlucky. Just she made a couple of long runs along that right side. It's Francis Silva again. Manny Laddish. Just on the doorstep again. In there. This is a great run in behind and ball by Mandy Laddish. Perfect cross. It's just a listen there. I don't understand. She's in the right place at the right time. She's just a great goalkeeper. Wow. Look at this by Mandy Laddish, Kansas City kid. The header just, wow, for FC Kansas City for three and a half seasons, two NWSL championships. So many years as a professional, great college player, great high school player, and now headed away, dangerous in front, shot for the Blues, tipped away again. The Blues, bad luck, undone. So Alyssa Nair is able to stop it. Boy, Chicago made a horrible mistake. Yeah, we got a little bit of a lucky bounce here, a little bit of the wind maybe. And the header Bowen's back. first shot. Oh. And a great save again by Both Nair. Both teams will be disappointed they didn't finish their chances at the end there. And final thought on Jen Buzkowski, who has now finished her career as a professional soccer player. She's had a tremendous career in college, both professional leagues. Probably should have got a call up to the full national team but I think she has to be satisfied with what she's done over the years. Well, teammates, coaches, family, and friends, that is the last minute Jen Buzkowski has played as a professional, and myself and Dave Stewart at Time Warner Cable appreciate uh, watching you the and last you three. The first point of the season at home, being a man down, player down, uh, at least get